I Umar Khadri of Standard 7 and I study in Mount Valley English School. I want to thank International Student Brief Organization Toronto, Canada for assigning me this important topic. My topic is how to improve reading. The best way to improve your reading comprehension level is through practice. There is no better way to practice reading other than having fun with it. Make reading a fun activity instead of constant work. This will motivate you to engage with the text and embrace the activity as part of your daily life. As you practice and truly engage with your reading, material improvement will come naturally. Begin by reading texts are slightly below your age and grade level. This will take pressure off you and allow yourself to relax and enjoy the story. Once you more, feel more comfortable reading and practicing your comprehension strategies, go ahead and allow yourself to read at whatever reading or age level you feel like. Even if you feel you do not understand some of the text right now or even a large portion of it, if you enjoy yourself and give it your best shot, you will find that your reading comprehension level will improve over time. Read as often as you can. The more you read, the easier it becomes. Practicing for at least 15 to 30 minutes a day, every day will make a big difference. Read something you are interested in. If you have a choice, it is no surprise that you will be more motivated to read a text that you are genuinely care about. Here are a few important tips to improve your reading. First, do not rush while you are reading. Be calm and concentrate. Second, when you read a book or anything else, read it loud to yourself so that you get used to speaking the language with the time your pronunciation will improve. Third, while reading in your mind, focus on the text in front of you and do not think about anything else. Fourth, read one paragraph at a time and summarize in one sentence. That will help reveal the main idea. Fifth, ask yourself questions throughout reading. If you can make small notes about the character or the plot. Sixth, if you do not understand a word, find out what it means. You can Google a word if you do not understand. For example, search define comprehension. Once you learn to read, you will be forever free. The more you read, the more thing will you know. Thank you. Hello everybody. Good morning. I Umar Khadri of Standard 7 and I study in Mount Valley English School. Thank you for being here today and hope everybody is doing fine. I am very glad to see you all here and would like to thank International Student Bridge Organization Toronto, Canada for assigning me this very important topic. The topic I will present today is the value of importance of thank you. Thank you is a powerful pair of words and thank you is the key that opens the door to instant happiness. Almighty God said, first you thank to my people, then you thank me. Saying that thank you, it's everybody adequate and simply courtesy that takes just a moment. It, it costs nothing, not even effort. For sure, they will respect you when you say thank you to them with smile. The fact is that thank you has something truly magic. It, it is just word but it acts shorthand for so much more. Thank you shows you our appreciation and conveys our gratitude. We should never feel shy to say thank you and if we say thank you to people, love you and like you as a good person. How often have you felt bad because you forget to say thank you or did not take a moment to thank someone properly? If someone failed to say thank you to you when you are expecting from, you might feel bad. And the same way if we fail to say thank you, to them, they might feel the same as others. The message is clear. Forgetting or neglecting to say, say thank you is rude. Not only does it upset and annoy people, it makes you look bad however important or busy you are. It is always right to thank people for even smaller things they have done for you. When you give food or money to a beggar, he prays for you and your family. 
We should say thank you to beggar for coming our home and providing us reward from Almighty. We should say thank you to our housemaid for helping our family in daily housework. We should say thank you to our teacher, younger, elder, friends, neighbor and other as you wish. Sometimes people say bad words to you and if you reply them with the thank you with the smile, they might think later they have done wrong and feel sorry for the attitude. By saying thank you, you can bring smile and make others happy. If possible, you can please share this topic with others. I will conclude my topic by saying thank you very very much and sincerely appreciate it for listening with this with patience. Thank you. Good morning. I am Umar Khadri of Standard 7 and I study in Mount Valley English School. Firstly, I want to thank International Student Bridge Organization Toronto, Canada for assigning me another valuable topic. My topic is what are my responsibilities towards my neighbor. A man is not a believer who fills his stomach while his neighbor is hungry. To understand the duties a person has to their neighbor, it is important to first understand what a neighbor is. The neighbor includes the people who live adjoined or connected to your home. It also includes the people who live near or far your house. It does not matter if your neighbor is Muslim or non-Muslim, practicing Islam or not, a friend or an enemy, a foreigner or a national. You have duties towards them. These are duties towards our neighbor. First, protect their interests when they are absent. Second, show them respect when they are present. Third, help them when they are faced with injustice. Fifth, do not go out of your way to find their fault. If you know any of their fault, hide them. Sixth, never leave them alone during a calamity or a problem. Seven, forgive, forgive them if they have done any wrong. Seven, in short, live with, the, live with them a peaceful and noble life based on the highest Islamic essential code. Some examples of completing these duties include First, kind treatment. Second, sharing food. Third, visiting them during sickness, sad moment or happy moments. Fourth, not causing any harm. Fifth, exchanging gift greetings. It is clear that good intention, every single deed of the believer counts near the Almighty. And belief will get its reward eventually. That is why our Prophet Muhammad Rasulullah has directed us to share every small good thing with our neighbor. I will conclude my topic by saying to my, myself and all my brother and sister that if our neighbor are happy, Almighty God is happy. Thank you.